Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We got a great shade for you today in my opinion. It is Easter. Hope everybody is having a wonderful Easter or had one probably by the time they're seeing this. We're not going to get into the soap. We are going to put up base ingredients and scent notes, but we're using RAR. I know we got all that stuff up and you can't even see it, but we're using RAR from Noble Otter. We have the matching splash. Great spring scent. It's bright but kind of uh the dandelions really got its thing going on there in my opinion but anyways we whipped it up in the captain's choice aquamarine and you know i like this trc handle it's it's i like the looks of it so we're going to use the fatip il piccolo limited edition i believe is what they call it or special edition it comes like this we open it up. I don't want to mess it up opening it up. And it's got a second comb. So you have an open comb and a safety bar, you know, with the scalloped um, style straight bar, safety bar. I'm trying to make sure we put it all back together nicely. And set it off to the side so we don't accidentally get the box wet. And I think after all that, we're good to go. Oh, razor specs are going up right now. There we go. Maybe need to add a little bit of water and dial it in a little more once we get it on the face. I'm liking it, though. I love this scent, guys. This is spring to me. Very spring-like. Like I've said in the last video, this is polarizing to some people. And I just, I don't know, it's kind of got that bright green grassiness feel to it, like the dandelions, you know. Definitely comes out in the soap. We're good with that, man. I don't need like anything really special. We're gonna go with it. Second use of a Willie's blade. I get to keep this razor for a little while. This is a tiny razor. Like, look at that handle. If you've used the Merker 1904, you know that's a very tiny handled razor. Um, um, Milady razor. I think they're Miladies, right? There's Milord and Milady. Is that correct? Those are pretty small handle, but yeah. I like smaller handled razors. The weight on this is kind of like, I don't want to accidentally drop it, but it's it's balanced well. Like right there, you can feel that's it's working great. Yeah, <laughs> that's a smooth shaver right there. That's nice. I kind of want one of these. Now, this isn't mine, sent to me by Sefferton. It appears to be mowing it down and not giving a lot of feedback. I'm not getting a lot of blade flex or chatter. Good things. Very nice. Comfortable. Wonder what the open comb's like. Gonna get to use the open comb. By then I'll probably be using like a Gillette Wilkinson sword. Saloon pack. I like those. Man, that's some lather. We're just gonna apply as much on the face. Scoop as much out of this bowl as possible. And just, there we go. Play with some lather before this last pass a little. Look at all that lather. That's a lot. That is a lot. I am gonna scrape it off the brush now. Back into the bowl. And a little bit of water.
Oh yeah. I don't know, sometimes it's just fun to lather and this stuff feels really good on the face. Enjoyable. Awesome scent. Like, amazing scent. There we go. And boom. Really nice. I like, I'm not kidding, guys. Love the scent. I know this isn't about the scent, but man, I love the scent. It smells great for this time of year. It really makes me feel, feels like spring, man. I watched So Sharp David's video today. And, you know, I commented on there. It's like, you know, it's just, it's hard to talk about a lot of things going on in the community. I try to talk about shaving and stuff, but, you know. I try to be supportive by watching others' YouTube videos. And sometimes you don't get a comment on your YouTube video. I'm sorry. Um... But just getting to lives lately has been difficult. I work pretty late. Like sometimes till almost 8. After 8. And I miss the good old days. We do have some irritation, previous shave probably. Feels like a pimple more than anything. Super mild, no blade feel, guys. I mean, I don't have to use this again to really give you a review of what I think. But I will tell you that I kind of want to buy this because I like the gold plate. And the black candle and black top cap. I think that's really cool. I don't like gold razors generally. Because unless you're making it out of real gold, it's kind of cheap looking to me. And none of us are buying a real gold razor, let's be real. And I understand most razors do get gold plated, so it is real gold. Maybe not with this, obviously, because the price point, in my opinion, is too low. But like when you get it done at Razor Emporium, you kind of have to do it there. Um, they use real gold, stuff like that. But it wears off, and then you see the metal underneath, and then it looks cheap. So I don't know. I just don't like gold plating. I'm going to go ahead and pull the head on this real quick just because I want to. The finish on this is much better than the retro, just so you guys know. The Fatigue Retro I used, finishing is much better on this. Much better. Like, if I got it, no, I don't have it out. All right, guys, we're going to rinse up. You know the drill. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Got water all over the shirt, per usual. Great scent, guys. Great soap. I do enjoy it. I would pick it up. But if you don't like that green kind of citrus. Now, there's musk and stuff under there. But, like, what I'm really getting is the bergamot, the neroli, and the dandelions. Maybe a little of the cedar wood. Tell you more when I put on the splash. But in the soap, the dandelions really kick in with the bergamot. We'll put a generous amount. The Fatigue Il Piccolo Special Edition, really nice. It's not at the Razor Company, um, found it on Amazon, a few other places. I'll link all of them below because some of them say like three left in stock, two left in stock. So, And I do have an affiliate for Amazon, so that link will be an affiliate. But man, that's a great scent. And look, we went matchy, we went green again. Went with this to go with it just because it may not be totally matchy, but... It's the one I wanted to use. And this piccolo, man, it's, I'm amazed. 
I mean, not amazed, but like the finishing on this is considerably better than it was on the uh, Fatip Retro. And so maybe my Fatip Retro was like a one-off on that issue. But like, yeah, looks good, guys. I recommend it. I'm not saying you got to go pick it up now, but if you got an itch, you want to buy a razor. Every once in a while, we have those itches where we got to buy a razor. I understand it. Take a look at that one. It's nice. Um, I think it's available from like $35, $37 to like $45. So look around. Pick it out. All right, guys. You made it this far. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that noti bell. We will catch you next shave.